What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have Miss Spiny, my grandma Stella Rosea right here. And today I wanted to share the most disgusting thing that I find about tarantulas. Um, for people who are arachnophobic, I'm sure there's a million disgusting things about tarantulas, but for me, there's just one. And it actually has nothing to do with the tarantula itself. The most disgusting thing for me, having been in this hobby for many years, is definitely their food. Um, no matter how much I switch the food source, um, as you know, if you've been on this channel before, I've gone through quite a journey to find like the perfect food for both Spidey and my sensibilities. Um, we started off with crickets, then we went to worms, now we're at cockroaches, and I think we're going to stick with this one. But they're still disgusting. Um, I've talked about my roach colony before. I will say that the roaches are probably by far the least disgusting out of all the options I've tried, but I don't think I'll ever actually like these creatures. But I do try to be humane towards them and give them a decent life um, before they help Spidey sustain her life. So the reason that I don't think tarantulas are disgusting is one, I like them. I've always been interested in spiders since I was a kid and I actually did used to be pretty scared of them but it was more of like a curiosity fear. I didn't think I would ever actually like own a spider and be in that into them but I used to read spider books when I was little and I think it just kind of fascinated me. Um, they are really really cool creatures but I would still get squeamish when I saw one um, around the house when I was younger. I think I've become a lot less squeamish now that I'm older. And so having a tarantula actually helped me learn more. So I know that tarantulas are incredibly clean. They don't smell, they don't make a mess really. Um, the biggest mess that I've ever seen Spidey make is an occasional poop on the glass in her tank or um, a little poop in her water dish once a year or maybe putting dirt in her water dish. Other than that, she is pretty clean. She rarely leaves uneaten food around, and if she does, it's always like wrapped nicely in her web and put in like a certain place in her enclosure. So I'd have to say that Spidey does not take a lot of management from me, honestly. Um, in terms of having to clean her tank, not very often at all, maybe like twice a year, because she just doesn't do gross things in it. <laughs> so I really enjoy that about tarantula keeping. I like having pets that don't stink. That is kind of why I don't have a dog or a snake or any of those other animals. I like my house to smell nice. So um, tarantulas aren't disgusting. Their bodies are also very clean. If you have a tarantula, you know, but Spidey is always bathing herself. Tarantulas keep themselves very clean. And as long as your tarantula is healthy, they will not stink. So that's a wonderful thing. I can't say the same for their food items though. And I'll say, I'll talk specifically about the crickets and the worms. Um, there's probably other sources of food. I just haven't experimented with them. So I'm just speaking from experience. The roaches, to my knowledge, I've had them for a few years. They've never smelled, but they can still do really weird, gross things. Um, but no, they've never smelled. They're the least gross. But in terms of crickets and worms, the super worms specifically, they stink. Oh my God, there's no smell like it. Um, and they're not even dirty, they just smell. I, I just don't, I don't get it. And the things that they do are disgusting. They eat each other, even if they have food. So one of the main reasons why I switched is because I just, one, Spidey wasn't really very good at getting crickets. They were way too fast for her. <laughs> um, but also, I just couldn't keep them alive long enough. You know, I would, I would get some new crickets and I'd get like 10 at a time and they would not even last a week because they would eat each other, even though I was feeding them regularly. Like there was just no reason for it. They're absolutely vicious. So between the smell and the cannibalism, I was kind of done with that. And the superworms were not as bad, but quite similar actually, I would find you know, not on super worms, even if they had a food source and they would stink. They would just be absolutely gross. They're also really gross if they happen to, you know, like let's say Spidey didn't catch one of them and that they burrowed in her enclosure. If I didn't get that thing out or if I didn't know it was there, it would really start to stink up the tank because it either died in there 
or it was like turning into a weird beetle thing, which is that, that I found that out the hard way, unfortunately. So um, I just avoid those two now because they're just, it's disgusting. They're, they're just not my style. They're too stinky. They're too sneaky. <laughs> and they just do awful things to each other. Um, the roaches are definitely a more um, clean feeling, I think, for me. Like I said, they have not smelled. They are far less likely to eat each other. Um, I think in the few years that I've had them, and I've had like the same colony too, uh, multiple generations of the colony, I honestly think I've only found like two carcasses that were like nibbled on or whatever. I don't know what, what happened really. I don't know if they were like fighting or something or whatever, I don't know. But um, yeah, they're a pretty peaceful species that knows how to cooperate with each other and live together. Can't say the same for the others. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is what I'll say about tarantulas. I think that this is an important video because, and this is not necessarily for all of you tarantula owners. I know that you know this. I know that you're not surprised by this, but I feel like for somebody who is on YouTube or the internet, just kind of maybe arachnophobic or curious about spiders, maybe isn't even in the tarantula hobby, they might be Googling what's disgusting about spiders or disgusting spiders or something like that or disgusting tarantulas. And my hope is that they would stumble on a video like this that is actually advocating for the reality of tarantula keeping, which is that these creatures are actually really awesome. They're not disgusting. The hardest part about keeping a tarantula for me at least, <laughs> is dealing with their food. They're just not gross in the way that it is portrayed in the media. So I think that videos like this are important. Um, but you guys let me know, whether you're a tarantula keeper or not, let me know what you think is the most disgusting part. And if you agree with my uh, just grossness about the food, um, I would love to know. All right, guys, have a wonderful tarantula to you today, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.